To complete disassembly and reassembly, you'll need two crescent wrenches, a five millimeter socket, a five millimeter Allen wrench, various pliers, and a pick for removing O-rings. Begin the disassembly process by opening the door and removing the cotter pin. Remove three screws at the bottom of the pump with the five millimeter Allen wrench. Turn the fluid section counterclockwise and lift to remove the fluid section. On the top of the pump, again use your 5mm Allen wrench to take the three screws off the top cover. Remove three bolts on top of the cover assembly under the black cover. You can then remove the cover assembly. Remove the O-ring from underneath the cover assembly. With vice grips or pliers and a crescent wrench, loosen the valve nut. A four millimeter wrench will also work in place of players. Remove the exhaust grid. Once the exhaust grid is off, you can then remove the outside cover of the pump. Using a 5mm socket, remove four bolts from the underside. Remove all four control rods. Using the pick, remove the O-ring from the inside of the pump body. If you push up on the seal holder, it will come out. You can remove 
the cylinder housing from the pump, slide off the cylinder and you will have the piston. Can then remove the O-ring from the air piston cylinder. Remove the nut, springs, and rod from the air piston cylinder. Once you take off the nut, the spring and rod will come out. Back at the pump, remove the cylinder seal with your pick. Place the fluid section in a vise and loosen the bottom with a crescent wrench. Pushing down, you can then remove the piston from the fluid section. Remove the white plastic holder and ball from the seat. Using the vise again, you can flip the fluid section over and put the top in the vise. And again, using a crescent wrench, you can remove the fluid section cylinder. From the top of the fluid section, you can now push out the packing nut. Remove the O-rings from the fluid section cylinder. Remove the top of the piston with a 5 millimeter Allen wrench. Be sure not to lose the ball as the top of the piston comes off.